Good morning, class. Today we're going to do another lesson of our phonemic awareness. We're on week 23, and today's lesson is Wednesday. Before we start, we are going to practice some of our special sounds, though. So I'd like you to repeat these after me. Shh. Shh. Or mm. Say them out loud. Then we have some of our blends. Our blends are letters that when they're together, we try to say them fast. We don't leave any spaces between them. Bull. Pull. Gull. Sl. Fool. Cool. And our R blend. Brr. Cur, gur, fur, tur, purr, dur. Back to shh. I don't want you to be super quiet right now. I want you to copy and repeat what we're working on. So make sure you're saying your answers out loud. I might not be able to hear you, but it's still good to say it out loud and you can help teach your family what you're working on. Today, we're gonna to do the same rhyming game as yesterday. I'm gonna tell you a word and you have to tell me which of the two words rhyme with it. The first word is chore. Which word rhymes with chore? Shore or chill? Sure, did that one trick you? Remember when we're rhyming, we listen for the end of the word. Chore, shore, both say or at the end, so those are the rhyming pairs. Which word rhymes with chick? Chop or thick? That's right, thick, thick, chick. Which word rhymes with moth? Cloth or stand? Cloth, cloth, moth. Which word rhymes with thin? Thank or chin? Chin. Did that one trick you or did you get it? Great job. Which word rhymes with ship? Chip or tank? Chip. Ship. Chip. And which word rhymes with chop? Shop or must? Shop. Chop. Shop. Sound the same at the end so they are rhyming words. Now I'm going to say a word, you're going to repeat it and we'll punch up the beginning sound. Rush, Rrr. chew, Ch. hitch, short, Sh. theme, Th. deal, d. Well done, class. Now get out those choppers. We're gonna chop our words and there's three sounds that we're going to chop. The first sound is going to be one of our digraphs. Sh, th, or ch. Here we go. Ch, i, l. Chill. Th, a, n. Van. Ch, a, s. Chase. Choice. Choice. Thick. Thick. Shock. Shock. Thumb. Chain. Chain. Shh. Chef, v -e -m. them. Well done. Now get ready as we say the end of our word. Sometimes that one is tricky, so listen really closely to the end, and then we're gonna punch up the end. Bath. Do it with me. What is it? Th you got it. Splash. 
rich ch month such ch dash Good job, that one can be tricky sometimes, but I think you did a wonderful job. We need your choppers again. I'm gonna say the whole word and then you get to chop it. Those. Oh, this is sheep. Sheep. Them. Your turn. Say it out loud. Chop. Third, choice, shake, chance, ship, cheek. Well done, class. Now we're going to start with the end of our word. And we're going to add one of our special sounds to the beginning. Is. Add th to the beginning. What's our word? This. Of. Add sh to the beginning. Shove. Ill. Add ch to the beginning. Chill. Ink. Add th to the beginning. Think. Ant. Add Ch to the beginning, chant, you got it. Now we're gonna start with our whole word and I'm gonna take away the beginning sound. You tell me what's left. Chick, without ch, what's left? Ick, thing, without th, what's left? Ing, shell, without sh, what's left? L, champ, without ch, what's left? Amp. Thumb without th what's left? Um. All right, are you ready for our last game? We're gonna start with the word thick. Change th to ch. Chick. Have some of you already made your chick art? I know Jace did. I saw a picture of his and it was very cute, Jace. If you make your art, I would love to see a picture of it in our Facebook group. You can share it with your friends so that they can see what you're doing too. I know all of your friends miss you and miss seeing what you're doing in, your, in our classroom. And so we can use our group as our classroom and share and see each other. All right, our next word is win. Change to th. Thin. Hut. Change to sh. Shut. Thumb. Change th to ch. Chum, lock, change l to sh, shock. You did it, great job. We are going to do our special digraphs again. SH says, sh, that's right, they're very quiet because they're shy when they're together. CH, they're not shy, they like to go on an adventure. CH says, that's right, they're going on a train. Ch, 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 all the way down the track. TH, they're not very kind to each other and they actually stick their tongue out. And in class, this was the only time we were allowed to stick our tongue out at each other when we're practicing our TH sound. Th is the quiet sound. Sometimes the TH are louder though and they say th. You have to use your voice a little louder. P-H, they like to have a lot of fun and they dress up and they take another letter sound. P-H, are you ready? Do you know it? What is it? Did you say F? You're right. P-H says th and W-H. When they're together, the W does all of the talking. The H is silent. Now, there's another sound I want to tell you about the WH, and it's a quieter sound. It's, it's just the blowing your air out a little bit, and it would be used for the word like 
who? W-H-O, that's one of your popcorn words, I think, and it has a different sound. It can be tricky. That's why we practice all those popcorn words. Are you ready? Let's do it fast. Shh. Well done, class. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow for Thursday's lesson. Bye-bye.